Good morning. I'd like to thank Ed and Sue for inviting me down. They asked me as an honorary representative, one of the sailors at Salisbury who eventually died and never made it home. But I think I'm really here representing all of the people that passed through the gates of the prison, whether they were Confederate or Union, whether they were civilian or military. They were all precious to somebody. They all walked away from their lives, and they all deserve to be remembered. I spent the last year following the trail of a sailor who went through Salisbury, and he ended up dying at Andersonville. And when I was here last year, I had a scoop of dirt from his wife's grave in the family plot with me that I was going to take to Andersonville. And I left it in front of his stone. And I took a scoop of dirt from Andersonville in front of, from in front of grave 8,858, and I brought it back to Massachusetts. And I put it in front of his wife's plot where his little girl and his wife lay. And that didn't seem like enough, and so I took my, out my Kindle, and I opened to a poem that was written by a man who was roughly contemporary with Fred. And I read a stanza from Leaves of Grass, and I'd like to read that today. A child said, what is the grass, fetching it to me with full hands? How could I answer the child? I do not know what it is any more than he. I guess it must be the flag of my disposition, out of hopeful green stuff woven. Or I guess it's the handkerchief of the Lord. A scented gift in remembrance, designedly dropped, bearing the owner's name some ways in the corner, that we might see and remark whose. Or I guess the grass itself is a child, the produced babe of vegetation. Or I guess it is the uniform hieroglyphic, and it means sprouting alike in broad zones and narrow zones, growing among black folk as white, Canuck, Tuckahoe, Congressman, Cuff. I give them the same, and receive the same. And now it seems to me the beautiful uncut hair of graves Tenderly I will use you, curling grass. It may be you transpire from the breasts of young men. It may be that if I, if I had known, thee, known them, I would have loved them. It may be you're from old people, or from offspring taken soon out of their mother's laps. And here you are, the mother's laps. I wish I could translate the, the hints about the dead young men and women, and hints about the old young men and women, and offspring taken soon out of laps. What do you think has become of the young and old men? What do you think has become of the women and children? They are alive and well somewhere. The smallest sprout shows that there really is no death. And if ever it was, and if there ever was, it leads f toward life and does not arrest it. And the ceased moment life appeared, all goes onward and outward, nothing collapses. And to die is different from, any, from what anyone supposed. Thank you.